ainda bem que em 2023 alguém pensou nisso. G'day, welcome back. Uh, I'm back. No, he's back. <laughs> Samuel, hey Jerry, Samuel Melo Medorius from uh, Italy or Sweden, I think. Jerry, and he's back with um, a concept that I've been interested in, <laughs> putting a film camera as a digital camera. Uh, he's been doing it for about seven years, actually, and he started off with prototypes using the Raspberry Pi, and it was kind of like an attachment on the back of a camera. So, for instance, like my Canon, it would attach on the bottom there like that, and then it would have an LCD screen. So he's trying to bring back what we've all wanted, <laughs> all our old, he wants to save all our old film cameras. But don't we all? I mean, there are other people who've tried this over the years. Now, the hard part really is how do you connect all the connections and how do you get it in there in the sensor? So, so originally, I think he was using Raspberry Pi, the cameras and everything that goes with that, or the sensors, the smaller sensors. But now, you know, like this is what grabbed my attention was the, it's a film canister now with the sensor on the side and it's micro four thirds, even better. <laughs> so I think he's been using smaller sensors in the past. I think he started there around 2016, you know, like I said, with attachments like that on the bottom with the LCD screen and that. Um, I've seen on YouTube some really smart people, you know, intuitive. They're using um, like Raspberry Pis as well uh, with I think the Nano or the Raspberry Pi Zero because it's smaller. They can attach it and fit it inside because uh, the hard part is how do you get it all fitting inside there you know what i mean so well this guy now he's he's done a, a kickstarter uh, the, the company is called i'm back <laughs> you know i'm back at the back of the camera um yeah, original he's doing a kickstarter which starts in about four days i don't know i don't know how he's going to do it i mean i hope he can he, he can pull it off and it'll be, you just put the, you know, the film canister there and roll across the sensor there and somehow connect the shutter. I didn't even know about the earlier ones. He did kickstart it. I think two of them failed. And then the third one, he got up and running and he invented that around 2018, the I'm back attachment to it, the digital one. So that to me looked a bit, I wouldn't buy it. Because the whole idea is you want to reuse your film camera because you love your film camera and you know you don't want an attachment. I guess it's, it, it kind of looked like just having a, you know those extra grips, the battery grip, whatever. The um, I'll give you the link of the Kickstarter. I mean, I don't know how much it's going to cost or how long it's going to take. I don't even know how Kickstarter works. Where you, do you give them money and then? Do you give them up? Do you give the money up front, or do you wait till it's actually done? I don't know, or you pledge it? I don't know. I've never done one. So now, ironically, I've been thinking about this for a long time. So, and a couple of months ago, I went and bought a Raspberry Pi because <laughs> I want to try it out myself um, to see if I can create my own camera. I bought a Raspberry Pi Four. Okay, and I'm thinking of somehow. putting it in here no, that's not going to work <laughs> Jerry huh? crazy well you could probably do you could probably gut it but I'm not going to gut this no way I'd get it old shitty camera and and maybe get the Nano or the, the Raspberry Pi Zero uh, because you can attach cameras to it. So um, I've got, I bought a camera that goes with it. This is a high quality camera too, really good. And a screen as well, an LCD screen as well. See, that fits on there somehow. <laughs> and then you've got your camera comes out of there 
and somehow you've got a then you can then you can use it like an LCD screen, you know. No viewfinder, but you can't have everything. And then you got to run like Python scripts and shit through Raspberry Pi. I don't know. It's just a wild goose chase that I'm on, a wild experiment, just like the other crazy Italian. So I'm in the initial stages of testing it. <laughs> so come over to my lab and I'll show you. Oi! Why are you sitting there? You're not helping. Huh? Why are you helping? You're supposed to be helping. You're supposed to be my assistant. You're sleeping on the job. All right, so let's go over to my little lab here. So welcome to my little lab. It's just, I just went from here to there. <laughs> okay, so this is a Raspberry Pi 3. I've got actually a Raspberry Pi 4. I found the 3 to be a little bit slow. Um, if you don't know what a Raspberry Pi is, it's just like a little computer. So now this, this is obviously, this is attached to my monitor. And what it is, you buy these little high quality cameras do you remember the little CCTV that I took out in my la in one of my videos a couple of years ago? Um, these are C mount. I can't remember. They're CCTV mount, and that's what that's the sensor in there. Look how small it is. Can you focus? That's the sensor anyway. Then you use the CCTV. Uh, this is a 25 millimeter. Like I said, I remember it, it gives you like a little hazy, on the micro four thirds, it gives you like a little vignette, blurriness, bokeh, swirly bokeh, that's what it is. And then the cable runs into there, it's got a tripod mount and everything. Now somehow I've got to get this inside a camera. <laughs> Jerry, uh, crazy. What I'm thinking of, there's a hole go. What I'm thinking of is maybe use the Holger. What do you think? Do you think the Holger will work? Hmm? Yes, Jerry. I don't know. Maybe fit it in there. Oh yeah, that'll work. Oh yeah, look at that. that doesn't work I've got this old behemoth here which is my old man's now that's definitely gonna fit everything that you need in there then drill the hole drill that out put my real lens in there nothing that a bit of gaffer tape won't fix hey Jerry so first you get yourself bloody planes First you get yourself a uh, terminal session going, uh, time zero, that's better, and let's have a look, so can you see that Jerry, Jerry, where are you, Jerry, well you cheeky bum, where are you Jerry? Jerry, why are you looking? Then you can focus. Here's the refresh rate sucks. Jerry, look. Hey, you want to go? Jerry Schmacker, what are you looking at? There, got him, Jerry. What are you looking over there for, Jerry? So you can do aperture, focus. The minimum distance is pretty shit. Wait, you stay there, Jerry. I want to see if I can focus. Aperture. <laughs> Jerry. Jerry. Hey, yes, you're on Rob's camera now. Homemade camera. Hmm? Are you too busy sleeping? Oh, Jerry. <laughs> the refresh rate's pretty crap. So, anyway. Now, to take a photo. Okay, we're going to take a photo, Jerry. Jerry, look, you got to look at the camera because you only got like five seconds. Now, I don't know when this, you, you start the command, lib camera JPEG, and then it opens up, and Jerry's bloody out of the way. 
Cherry! And then took the photo. Up, up, ready, ready. Oh, this is going to be, this is going to be difficult. I tell you what, this is going to be so hard. There you go. My first picture on my camera. You can do kind of like the Android or whatever, where you can combine Raspberry Pi and, you know, switches. But then you've got to start bloody soldering and shit. So I think I'll just use the touch screen. Stay tuned anyway. If I do um, go through with this stupid experiment, then I'll, uh, I'll post my results here of what I'm doing. And I'll show you how I did it and whatever and how many... Um, expensive film cameras I ruined along the way <laughs> not to mention this bloody Raspberry Pi they're so in demand because there's none left they cost me like 300 bucks just for the Raspberry Pi you might as well just buy a camera <laughs> but nothing's gonna be this camera digitally enhanced I mean that would be awesome or the um, OM, OM1 I think he uses an OM10 he was testing it out with an OM10 a digital solution to an old uh, technology would be awesome. I think people have been trying to do this. Even Nikon, when digital first came out, were attaching sensors to the back of their Nikon cameras. Um, and ever since then, the Holy Grail has been trying to get this solution. So hopefully my uh, Swedish, Portuguese, Italian mate in Sweden can come up with it. So head over to the uh, Kickstarter. I think it starts in four days and um, see what happens. I'll catch you later. Sorry. I'll be back.